In this video, I'm going to talk about five suggestions to stay productive during this time if you're a garden designer or landscape architect. My name is Katerina, I'm a garden designer, and I'll see you next. Welcome to another Garden Design Tools video. This video is a little bit different from the other ones. Mainly, I normally focus on renderings and 3D modeling, but in this video, I want to do a little bit different and I want to talk a little bit about suggestions to stay productive if you're a garden designer, landscaper, landscape architect. If you're working from home and if you'll be able to work from home in your projects and your designs. So this is just five suggestions. I did a blog post about it and I, I'm going to add the link in the description of this video. But basically, organize, organization is my suggestion number one. Of course, organize, organization in terms of office, in terms of real physical paperwork and catalogs and libraries of materials, etc. and resources, but organization in terms of digital media as well. So everything that's uh, in your desktop in, in terms of uh, uh, projects and material and resources and library and uh, maybe you have a um, 3D content library as well that you know it needs organizing this is a great time to do it and maybe um, work on the, the way you're referencing your projects uh, templates uh, get a bit of cleaner image and update your templates in terms of portfolio so this is just my suggestion number one S second one it's about how your 3D modeling skills are at the moment so 3D modeling and visualization skills are really a great way uh, to to share your ideas with your client, in my opinion. Um, so you have uh, skills, um, tools available right now. There was never a better time in terms of software and uh, not only amazing software, but how cheap they are. OK, so you have solutions like SketchUp with Twinmotion, for example. They are very e easy to get into and they are very inexpensive. So it's a a great opportunity if you if you're not up to date with 3d uh, skills just get a bit into it investigate a little bit what you what you need okay really start with 3d uh, with the, uh, sketchup sorry uh, and if you want to check it out we have a course for it of course but you can start with sketchup web version as well and just check it out and it's free okay uh, my third suggestion is really about how you share your images in your work with your client okay uh, i did a couple of videos one in lumion one for twin motion just to and you can see how you can share remotely your work and um without having to be present okay so that's the big thing here okay so at its present moment you're not going to be able to be uh, beside your client explaining your 2d plan maybe okay so how can these new skills uh, these new visualization softwares like Lumion and Twinmotion, uh, how can they improve your presentation uh, in a way that maybe you don't need to be beside your client and is going to be able to see exactly what's your design idea because in 3D it, and it's an immersive experience, okay? So check it out these videos. I'm going to add in the description as well if you want to check them out, okay? So another suggestion, the fourth one, is really about... Um, social networks and websites and your image as a studio uh, how is your image does it need improving can you do something about the way uh, the, your clients first meet you they first meet you probably to your social networks and after to your website so and is the same concept comes across all these uh, platforms um, I think for me it's really big thing if you garden design landscape architect Instagram has got to be the biggest thing right now after LinkedIn and, and so it goes Instagram website LinkedIn I think in terms of importance okay so but this really need to be up to date and uh, again coming across all the your concept your main uh, thing your main uh, how is your business known for that needs to come across through these uh, networks okay so this platform so this is a great opportunity to make sure that this is being done okay and what can you do to improve don't forget you have uh, applications online like canva it's an amazing application i'll add the link in the blog post that really helps you uh, to get this design you don't need to think about so much graphic design of things you know it really helps you has templates and just you can use them uh, all throughout these platforms and it's amazing okay a fifth suggestion for some of you more um, that mm, 
can risk a little bit more if you're feeling a bit like kind of risky. Uh, that's not a real risk, really. But if you, I think if you, if you, if you, if you have something, if you have a knowledge, uh, if you're maybe your your main thing is planting design or any other theme uh, of garden design. A great way will be to share this with your with your clients through videos. For example, you can start the IGTV channel or YouTube channel just with garden design teams. This could reach not only your existing clients, so it'll be a great way to keep in touch with them. Okay, just give them advice in maintenance, for example, uh, or just give uh, um, garden design advice in general. Uh, but this could get you uh, new clients in the future. Okay, um, I think it's really important to get to get to keep in touch with your existing clients, new clients, uh, to keep in touch with people, make sure they're okay, their gardens are okay. okay and um, and this could be a great way through video could be a great way to do it okay and you don't need to invest too much in equipment i think uh, a good intro um it'll be cool and uh, but after i think a good quality content is what we need okay because if you search garden design on youtube um it's uh, a lot of the content is quite kitsch okay so we need to get that um up a scale a little bit in terms of content in terms of garden design okay uh so i think this would be a good opportunity and something you could think about keeping it in the future okay a weekly video garden related uh, subjects it could be amazing for you for your business for your clients and it's a it's a, a way of helping out others okay if you're not doing the maintenance like you normally been doing of your ex of your um clients gardens um just keep them keep in touch with them that will be a great way to do it okay so this is my five suggestions i think if you are able to work from home if you yourself and your loved ones are okay are in good health and if you have enough money to pay the bills to pay the main necessities okay you are lucky so if you're lucky you it's your obligation almost to in this time to to get to do something about it okay not only by helping others maybe even if it's just remotely uh but uh help your business uh, get improve your skills improve your knowledge being in things that you're lacking or things that you want to improve like planting design whatever it is i think this is the time to really uh, stay productive and stay positive okay and a way of staying positive is coming in the end of the day and you know knowing that you learn something new okay don't stay in your pajamas the whole day and do some exercise and eat healthy okay that's what i do and i hope that you can do as well Bye-bye, see you in the next video.